What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and now that I've made three videos on champions that are good in solo queue but bad in competitive play, it's time to take a look at the reverse, champions that are good in competitive play and bad in solo queue. Let's get started. Now the main thing to understand is why a champion can be good in competitive play but bad in solo queue, and before I get into it, it's worth saying that in solo queue it is true that you can really make anything viable work for you. So we are looking at these reasons in the general sense of solo queue across the board, not on an individual player level. Now the first reason is due to champion difficulty and mechanics. In solo queue, this is a huge factor since you won't be as skilled or mechanically strong to make use of a difficult champion effectively. But in competitive play, this is a non-issue since the players have hundreds of hours to practice every champion. And another reason is due to strategies and team compositions. A lot of champions require a team composition to be built around them or need to be played in a proper team comp to be powerful, and you're just not going to get that in solo queue. And the last reason is communication. Some champions require a lot of team communication and coordination to play around to succeed with, and that as well is something that you won't get in solo queue. Without further ado, our first champion we have is Azir. Azir suffers a lot in solo queue because he's extremely difficult to play and requires a very strong mechanical player to make use of, while also needing the team to play around him strategically in teamfights. However, in competitive play, both of those are a non-factor, and so Azir has risen as a very popular and extremely strong pick. The potentials his kit creates are just really absurd and his team fighting is really powerful while he's a total lane bully and can easily come out with a CS advantage, not to mention the crazy plays that he can make with his ultimate. And if your team can play around him properly in team fights, the zoning and sustained DPS he can pull off is ridiculously powerful. In addition, he doesn't have too many bad matchups and so overall he's proven to be a very powerful pick. Next up we have Bard. Bard is a champion who suffers a lot in solo queue due to the fact that he requires a lot of coordination and team communication to make powerful plays with, especially in team fights. And in solo queue, you aren't really going to get that, and most players don't really know how to play with Bard. However, in competitive play, the voice comms make a huge difference, as well as your team can adjust to the strategies involving him. And with that, he's got great kiting and loads of utility, not to mention a boatload of playmaking potential if you can set it up. You have a ton to work with with his kit, and his laning phase isn't too bad either, it's certainly good enough. And although Bard hasn't been played too consistently yet in competitive, teams are still learning the strategies with him and he's had some really strong showings too. And lastly we have Cassidin. Cassidin suffers in solo queue due to his extremely weak early game that can easily be snowballed on by a lot of really popular solo queue champions, and in addition, he somewhat lacks damage compared to other mid laners, which can actually be a pretty big problem, meaning he needs a team composition for him to fit in. However, his mobility is so insane that it really sets up a lot of plays and gives him a lot of outplay potential. And if you don't have to rely on Cassidin as the main source of damage, his sustained DPS can be quite powerful as he's great at killing tanks. The mobility he brings is really strong and counters quite a lot of champions and strategies, making him really shine through as a strong pick in competitive play. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, as well as you can check me out on Facebook and Twitter, at Gaming Curios. And check me out on Twitch too, I do weekly streams. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, as well as you can check out some of my other content up above. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.